On this trip, I'm in Death Valley. I'm heading up to a mine called Ibex. Now, a lot of people are going to think, oh, that's the Moore House. No, that, that became known as the Ibex Mine because of Ibex Springs, where the main camp was. This is one of the original, this is believed to be the original Ibex Mine. Had a park there because where I'm parked, that's where the road used to go. And it's gone back to mama nature, so I'm gonna keep it that way. Here we're at the first of three tunnels or three tunnel sites that we'll be visiting around the old Ibex mine. Yeah, the big white pile that you see on the other side of the mountains or that mountain range, that's the Morehouse mine. That's the other one that people call the Ibex mine, but it was only named because of the main mining camp, which was located at Ibex Springs. And you can see this is talc, so that means that this tunnel is from the 1930s. That, like the track. Here's the entrance. Mm. So, you start off with an air pressure tank. An air tank. It's just neat. There's the track. So that's the end of this little side section. And just like what I thought, there's a small tunnel. We're looking at blasting, but the quality of the talc must have been so poor that they decided it wasn't worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and climb out of here, pack my stuff away. I got about another, well, I'm not going to estimate on how far I have to the main Ibex mine. It shouldn't be that long. I'll see you guys there. Up there, you got a couple shafts that intersect some tunnels down here. Sorry about the planes. Unfortunately, there's an Air Force base right over here. Um, yeah, on the other side of those that mountain range back there. And they fly over all the time. It really stinks. I can get out here to get away from people, but I can't get away from a jet.
It's a neat retaining wall. And again, nobody knows if this is the original Ibex mine from the 1880s. But that's okay. There is another mine that we'll be going to after this one that's up that little canyon. Yeah, little car hood. Slightly used one owner. Okay. That right there is a tunnel. What's left of it. That was not collapsed the last time I was here. Yeah, let's check out the other one first and then come back to that one. Still might be able to get into it. And there's the other one. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, they give you a log book, but no pen. I don't have one with me. Let's see. Uh, okay, so the last time somebody was here, they collected the park ordinate or the park registry, but when they collected it, they didn't leave a pen. Thanks. <laughs> oh, yummy tarts. If you guys ever come to these places and you're doing your own exploring, just remember, always close those doors. Even if you come here and they're open, that just means somebody was inconsiderate and didn't close it. So just close it. shed all right let's go check out that other tunnel hopefully we can get into it if not the possibility of the next one of us getting into it is pretty high because not many people know it's actually there
uh, I need to stop and adjust my pack. My camera tripod keeps hitting me in the back. And last night, pulled a shoulder muscle a little bit at the gym. So it's been annoying me. Yeah, I just couldn't see from out there how deep this went. And that's it. It doesn't go back any further. So, let me climb out of here without causing a friggin' collapse. And we'll continue on to the next site. Now, this is why I like revisiting old sites that I've been to before. I haven't been to this mine since 1997. And I was heading up this wash uh, to get up to another tunnel that's up there. And I completely forgot about this tunnel. After a while, you go to so many places, they just all start meshing together. Now, I cannot remember how far back this goes or anything about it. So let's check it out. climantic. Look at that. That's probably why I don't remember it. It doesn't go back very far at all. All right, get back to my original plan of heading to that open mine up inside that wash. Uh, this is the last area of three locations around the Ibex. Now this is from the 1930s, the talc deposits. And so you got the track coming off the end of the tailing pile. Fingers crossed that this tunnel is open. Yeah, so I've got some rotting rail there. Now check out the layer. So you got the original soil and then the layer of talc that they put on top of it. Sweet, it's open. Make sure there's no back cage. Nope. All right. Let me get my backpack off. Come on. There we go. Big camera first. All right. We are so close to the Ibex mine. I just left everything set up. Uh, fire. This place has been burnt out.
There are, oh, first off, look how that pipe is rusting in there. There are a group of people, I won't name names, and they have a YouTube channel, that go into these mines and they use torches and they destroy stuff. And there's reckless, irresponsible people. It's sad because they're doing it for the likes and not doing it for the pleasure of the exploration. They've also been known to trespass and cause damage to private property. Again, very sad. I'm bringing that up because this, this burnt out stuff is reminding me of them. I've already sent emails to a lot of mine owners, warning them about them, because they're just dangerous. that stope goes that goes all the way to the surface Ugh. look at that that is so cool Now, even though this place burnt, that looks, it just looks really neat. Getting near the end, the air just changed. Well, the fire never made it this far back. Check out that big stope. They would have kept going up. They would have put an orb in here. This right here, each one of these dots is a load. So that's indicating how many loads they removed. That's it for this tunnel. There's the face. All right, there's a couple other branches off to the other side. Let's go check those out. There's no point of climbing up inside the stopes. They don't go up very far. Still neat to look at though.
Okay. So that looks like about it. I mean, the pipe goes up and it's not covered by the debris. So that's telling me it's probably blasted. Oh, that's what they were doing. That stope up there. So all this material came from up there. All right, so there's one more branch. Let's go check that out. Oh, check that out. That's neat. I always like that. boxes and that's it See how this little mine. It is the problem with talc though. When it gets burnt, it fractures and becomes more soft and collapses so I don't recommend anybody doing this stuff especially in a talc mine that burnt As, see it wouldn't have taken much for me to pull that piece down but the problem is you don't know what the cascade effect is going to be This will bring an end to today's little trip. If you made it to the very end, I appreciate it. This gets you out excited to do some exploring on your own. Have at it. Most of all, be safe. And to those individuals that I mentioned in the video, not by name, just mentioned their actions. If you see this, Remember the old adage, 
leave no trace. The only thing you should leave behind are your footprints. And with that, have a good day.